Hey everyone, Shapebear1000 here, and I've got the infamous, I mean the famous. What was that about? Monkey1000 is here, everyone. <laughs> Tonight we're going to be trying out, mama, these soups, these um, oriental noodles, oriental style. Instant noodles, artificially artificial pork flavor. These were sent to me by my cousin from Ohio. Thank you, Brian. And uh, we're gonna try these out, give them a shot, because I probably won't be able to do anything tomorrow because yeah, three teeth pulled tomorrow. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some more stories about other things. But so let's get to the intro. Let's try these, mama. Let's try these out. Okay, so I'll give you the nutrition facts here. I'll just put them up on screen in case you want to pause it and read it. I know a lot of you like to see what you're eating and calories and all that stuff. Okay, so the instructions say, pretty easy, uh, put the noodles and condiments in the bowl, pour in one and a half cups, which is 350 milliliters of boiling water. You cover the bowl for three minutes, that's it. And then it says now, delicious and appetizing noodles is ready for serving. So. Go ahead. Nats. Mm. We, we've been lucky the past couple years, they haven't been bad. No. But every couple years, like that one year they were really bad, you'd be walking through the hall. Yeah. Inhale one. Mm -hmm. But, no, well, they're in Florida. But the uh, past couple years, we've been lucky. This year, they're pretty bad again. So let's open these up. So it says just to. Dump it all in here. So what I like to do is I like to break mine up a little bit. Some people just eat these for a snack, like uh, when they're hiking and stuff. Yeah. 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 All right. So there's that. And then I guess they, they're calling these condiments. Yeah. So I guess we dump them all in at once. Usually you wait. <laughs> all right, that one will go over there for now. Um, so let's <laughs> go ahead and dump the, the stuff in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny for other people when you don't have any feeling in your hands. Because, yeah, uh, you know, like monkey gets quite a kick out of it. All you can do is laugh. No, no, that's not all you can do. You can just sit there and go, oh, that's unfortunate. But no, you had to laugh. <laughs> all I so went this is... Let's go ahead and mix this up in here so I can see through it. And... So this is pork. Mm -hmm. I've got another idea for chicken. Maybe tomorrow night. We'll see how my mouth feels. But if not, probably Thursday. We want to get the vet out this week and take it for a little drive, don't we, Mom? Yeah. Ooh, I don't like the smell of that. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, it's got a very very interesting smell and look to it. Oh my. Um, yeah, look at it, Monk. Ooh, is that <laughs> some kind of fizz? <laughs> yeah, see these gills right there? Okay, so. <laughs> if she don't believe me, she's reading the instructions. Alright, I'm gonna put some water on the boil here. 
and uh, I'll be back with you when we pour the water in then we'll cover this up and then I'll be back with you again after that when we get ready to try it so stick around okay so got a cup and a half of boiling water here we're gonna pour in here give it a little just a little stir there now let me get something to put over top of this it says three minutes so I want to set a timer for three minutes okay guys it's been three minutes I'll take this plate off of here Okay, so that's what it, they look like. I'll get you up here. I'll try it. Mm -hmm. It has a weird aroma to it. Spicing. Spice in there. There's a little bit of spice in it. Yeah, but it's not overwhelming. No. It's pretty good. Yeah. Now that's all we're going to taste of that because I have an idea. Like the package said, it's artificially flavored. We're going to change that. <laughs> Check this out. So we have a wok here. We have some leftover pork tenderloin that Monkey made for supper. And put that in there. Listen to it. Sizzle. Mm -hmm. yes. And we're not going to brown this, we're just going to heat it up. Just a little bit of uh, vegetable oil. You can use olive oil or whatever you want, but I'm using vegetable oil this time. Soy sauce. Oh, that smells nice. So just, you know, get it now. We're just going to dump that in there. Stir this up a little bit. A little bit more soy sauce. And this, complete seasoning. Favorite. This is my favorite stuff. Don't be shy on this stuff. You'll love it, baby. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm just going to reduce this down. You don't have to. I'm going to re reduce this down to about half. And I'll put it back in the bowl. Then we're going to try this. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, it's real pork. Right, Mama? Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Mama. Anyway, she said it says, what did you say it says down here, Taiwan? Yeah. Thai. Huh? Yeah. Thailand. 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 Down there, right? Yeah. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see. Yeah. But, anyway, so, let me get this. 
reduced down just a little bit, maybe not half, because I don't want to overcook the noodles. So, all right, and I'll bring you back. We'll dump this back in the bowl. Okay, it was maybe three minutes. Love this wok. I use this wok a couple times a week, don't I, Mom? Oh yeah. Which Love came from, our wok. Yeah, came from Brian and Marla. Yep. I've never had a wok until now. Me either. Yep. Love the wok. Yeah, me too. Okay, so monkey scar. Yeah, my Forky. <laughs> from my Brian and Marla. Yeah. So. I didn't too, too bad. I figured I'd be spilling that everywhere. You did pretty good. A little bit over here. Not too. But now we can dinky dink. Now this is real pork flavor. Whoa. We're in a noodles. Yep. And if you guys know tenderloin, you know how tender that stuff is. Alright. I'm going to get a little bit of noodles. And a piece of this this meat. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> Can't do stuff like it used to. <laughs> okay, well that noodle didn't break up. There we go. Oh, Kept on going. <laughs> four feet long. Okay. <laughs> well, get yours, and we can dinky donk this one. Dinky donk. It's a piece of that meat. Ooh. Out there. You're cheating. Why? You just tasted it. Not really. Really. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Now, that was good before, but... Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that was really good before, but now I can't wait to try the chicken because I made chicken wings last night. Mm. So when we try the chicken, I'm going to do the same thing only with the meat from the wings. Yeah. And the next, the next one will be chicken. I'll have to think of something I can do with beef. Yeah. To add, because we have a beef one too. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get another bite of this. Yeah. It, it had two thumbs up before. Probably three and a half star. I think now mm -hmm. I will give it a four and a half star. Mm -hmm. And two thumbs up. What do you think? Yeah. What's your... What, the first one? I would say a two out of three. No, a five. Two, out of five? Okay. Um, I'd say three and a half. Three and a half out of five? Yeah. Two thumbs up? Oh yeah. What about yeah. this now? Um, I would say a four out of five. Four out of five, two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I'm going four and a half out of five because um, because when you when you um, when you heat heat the pork up in there, especially in cast iron with with the oil, or you can use grease or butter or whatever, but uh. And then you let it kind of cook into it, and then when you add the soy sauce, excuse me, and then the soup, it takes that flavor. Once you stir it up, that flavor, all that flavoring is always in the bottom of your pan. Yeah. And it really, and then you let it cook a couple more minutes, not because you don't want to overcook the noodles, but then it gets that flavor into the noodles too. All right. This is very nice. Yeah. It's more heartier, mm. you know, if you wanted something mm. a little bit more. Very nice. Thank you, Brian. Yes, very nice. I really like this one because it's not real spicy. Yeah. It just, it got a little bit in there. Just enough. So, I like that It's one. not a hot, mm -mm. it's just you can taste spices. Right. Like, you're not going to bite into them and go, Phew. Right. It's not like that. It's like you can taste the flavoring, the spices that they yeah. put in it. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. Uh, he has sent me, in the past, 
a bunch of these things, and I don't think there was one so far that he has sent that I haven't liked. No, no. You know, I mean, I, I, I like so. I like uh, ramen noodles and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just as a you know, it's a type of ramen. Yeah. Um, so I don't think there's any that he sent that I haven't liked. Now, of course, there's always some you like better than others, but I, th I think I've liked them all. Mm -hmm. This, this, um, I liked it before. It was fine. It was like, you know, yeah, it's great for lunch, but now. There's your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right, quick update. Mm -hmm. So, I went to my doctor today, my is she cardi she's cardiologist whatever mm -hmm. heart doctor so you know they say this is looking good and everything all oh, that's good I'm thinking good I'm done got my stint blah 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 well now <laughs> they want me to go have an ultrasound done on my stomach right <laughs> in order to have a, another stint just one for my heart. Yeah. You're gonna put a This one was to stop strokes. The next one will be to stop a heart attack. They're gonna put a catheter in him. Yeah, they're they're gonna go through the wrist. They're, it's another procedure, another night in the hospital, another two weeks. Yeah, I just found out. I thought I had a week to kick back. It's two weeks. Right. But so much for kicking back because I had to go to the doctor today. I got to go have teeth pulled tomorrow. And then the 21st, I go and get my ultrasound done. The 25th, I go back to the surgeon who did this. Then the 29th, I go back to Lane Lou to talk about the surgery, the next procedure. And we got to get it done by January 1st. Because of the insurance. Because of my insurance. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Christmas is going to be so not around. not just the rest of my weekend as I thought it's going to be the rest of my year really because that's going to be another two week yeah. of and you guys know how I like to decorate for Christmas and I don't think it's going to be able to happen this year no because I, I was going all I, out this year I was I almost ordered last night the thing to choreograph my music with the lights. But I was like, well, I'll just wait. Now, I have a couple projectors and stuff I can put up. Yeah. You know, because those you just on put on a tripod and, yeah, yeah, those things, and you just plug them in. But I was going all out, you know. I was going to decorate, and I was wanting to get a Santa suit, and we was going to have a Christmas <laughs> movie night. And well, we'll see what happens We'll first, see. Because um, it, it may not I, happen. I may not have Christmas. to do that, though. So we so, but usually they said usually once your carotid gets blocked, there's some blockage in your heart. Right. Which my heart is doing everything it's supposed to be doing, all the valves, everything's working. Got great blood pressure. It always has been, um, except for the hole in the heart, which that's from birth. So my heart itself's fine. It just there could be some blockage. So. Yeah. I was shocked. I was like, what? You know, they they should have just told us right at the beginning so we knew we, what we were looking yeah, at. Yeah, you know, you, you may know. have another one. Well, they did mention it, but they, the other side, though, like maybe yeah. next year I may have to get the this done again, but for the other side. Right. Because your left works your right, and your right works your left. They never said anything They didn't say anything heart. about the heart one. <laughs> She laid that on us today. Was what? Like, what? Oh, man. What do you mean? So this month's <laughs> busy. So yeah, I thought you know Thursday's coming up, man. I'm ready to get out and do something. And then she was like, No, this paper says two weeks. I'm like, What? So you know, we was talking to her today. And she was like, Oh yeah, it's gonna be two weeks. You need to take it easy for two weeks. Sit around, relax. I can't. I'm going nuts, ain't I? Oh yeah, he's been playing games on his computer, but it's still, you know, you yeah, can only still, do man, so much. You I, mean, know? I, got, I, I did, before this, I did download a whole bunch of games and stuff, we'll have but to. I don't, I'm not the guy to sit around, you know, yeah. well, it's been raining the past couple of days off and on, yeah. but still. 
Yeah. So anyway, that's an update on that. So, so tomorrow I'll get these three teeth pulled. So I don't know if I'll have a video out tomorrow or not, but Thursday I think we'll be all right. Because I've got a I've got a new OBD2 scanner. I want to try out. Yeah. Uh, company sent to me. And uh, every I've watched many many YouTube videos on that thing, and nobody's had any bad thing to say about it. Oh, that's good. Unlike the one she bought me from Timu. I sent it back. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I, I was just gonna it. keep it. No, I sent it back. Got my money back. Well, I was gonna keep it for twelve bucks. Yeah, it's gone. But anyway, <laughs> well, gee, thanks. You sent the right one, didn't you? No, I sent the orange one. You better be joking. <laughs> It works fine, it's just getting hard to read. You know how those screens get. Yeah. Um, they're not like that anymore, but that's when it was liquid or whatever. Right. LCD screen. It's just getting hard to read, but it's still, it's, it's a pocket scanner. So it's something you can keep in your glove box and you're out somewhere, your check engine light comes on, you can check it real quick to see what it is. Then when you get home, you get the bigger one like I got now, and then you can really go into depth. Right. Um, but, I mean, it wasn't her fault. It seemed to be working on the Chevy, but, you know, like I said on the Nissan, it said there was no codes. You had to check engine light was on, meaning there's codes. And it also cleared the codes that it said it didn't have. That's strange. So I'm like, you know, if I'd have bought that thing, even for 12 bucks, waited three weeks for it to get here to check, you know, that was our only vehicle, and then it says no codes, mm -hmm. you know, you're stuck back at zero. So... I want something that's going to work on everything I plug it into, you All know. Right. <laughs> now, of course, it's not going to do early 90s, you know, because it's OBD. That was, you actually, you could actually use a paper clip on the Chevys. Yeah. But they make a little thing that you can plug in that did that for you. But the paper clip, you, you counted your plugs, you put it in, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you turn the key on, you actually had to count the check engine light how many times it blinked. Wow. and pause and then blink mm -hmm. so like if you got three codes and she comes out and says hey hon what oh, not gonna do them all again mm -hmm. i think that was up to what 94 yeah so yeah. but um yeah so all right we're gonna finish this off but thanks for watching guys thanks for all your well wishes i really appreciate it i just put this on they don't want you to cover these i just put it on because you know doesn't look that great and I'm preparing food. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to gross anyone out. But it's time for to check her sugar. It looks a lot worse than hers did. Yeah. Hers hers yeah, looked great really the good. whole time. Yeah. It looks good now. Mm -hmm. Here's a little scar there, but it doesn't even bother me. Yeah. Mm mm. He did a good job. And this, you know, I grow a beard anyway, so I don't, it was like you may have a little scar. <laughs> Say how tall people. I'm almost 56 <laughs> years old. I'll come up with a story about that scar. <laughs> when I was in a Turkish prison, I got shanked. <laughs> yeah, he told me about Turkish prison. He, yeah, when we first got together. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I don't know what. There's not much really to tell you. I, I just got out of a Turkish prison. She was like, "What? What'd you do?" I said, "Well, I can't really say because I'm not technically supposed to be out. You broke out of a Turkish prison." Yeah, but I should be all right now because, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah, I Googled it. Then a little while later, about a half an hour later, you lied to me. I said, you Googled me, didn't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure I'm safe. <laughs> oh, my God. So, but anyway, mm. thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate Monk. You got anything coming up? Oh, t yes. I'm going to try to do it tomorrow. Yeah? Mm-hmm. With my after, mom. After my appointment. Yes, after your appointment. So you should have one up tomorrow evening? Hopefully, yes. So, anyway, keep an eye on... Stupid Nats. I know. So keep an eye on her channel if you're into, like, Timu stuff. and Timu stuff, and then if you want to watch some Timu stuff, she's got it all Timu stuff in here lately. But you get the Timu stuff, too. Yeah, but I also do cooking videos, how-to videos, I do too. I did my, mini bike I videos, did my which you know that was a plan for this week to start on my mini bike. Yeah, I got I, I got, I got my friends running. <laughs> that thing's scary. Yeah. Well, there's no brakes. He has no brakes. He was like, 
I said, dude, because I was going to sell him mine for parts so he could have brakes on his. He's like, nah, just sell that one for me if you would. And I'm like, I'll put it online and sell it for you, you know. So I tried it out. Got to try it out. Man, that thing, you barely crack that throttle when that thing's standing straight up. Yeah. That thing is a beast. <laughs> yeah, he should have really tried it. He might have wanted to keep it. If JD wrote it, he'd want to keep yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's fast. Yeah. I mean, it's I, fast. I GPS myself coming up this hill at 40 miles an hour and I wasn't wide open. Right. I let off when I got the top of the hill because <laughs> no brakes. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking they don't work well or they're not the greatest. We're talking you take the hub out of that wheel, there are no brake shoes, nothing in there. Right. So the rear wheel is just spinning freely like the front wheel. Yeah. Now mine has brakes. Uh -huh. So yeah. mine's going to be probably a little bit nastier than that one. <laughs> I may hold on to that one for a little bit. That's going to be a fun one. Yeah. You'll be able to ride it. Good. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I ever rode one of them. It's easy. No. You don't teach me. There's a... Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Oh, that's easy. I can do that. Remember the scooter? Yeah. Go. Stop. Oh, you mean the scooter that you sold from underneath me? First of all, guys, it was my scooter. I bought it off of Zach at work. Yeah, but you said And the whole way it. home when we went and picked it up, now he didn't tell me it was in that many parts because there was like four boxes in the he frame. He had all these parts, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. And you gave how much for it? I said 140 bucks. <laughs> I can't believe Zach screwed you like that. I said he didn't. I know what I got. <laughs> and what did you do? Mm -hmm. You put it together, and there you go. One o'clock in the morning. Well, it was before that, but... I think it was like 11.30, she hears that thing fire up, and I'm taking it up and down the street. Yeah. And we didn't get it till after work, so 7 o'clock, I think we got home. Yeah. Maybe 8, so about two hours I had it running, and then I brought it back in the garage, because I didn't have to work the next day. I brought it back in the garage, and till 1 o'clock in the morning, just cleaned it up and everything, and <laughs> she come out looking at it the next day. She wrote it, she loved it. Yeah. I just I happened to have it is. sitting down there when we were selling stuff, and the guy asked me what I wanted for it, and I just threw out a really high price. And uh, he bought it. He didn't even want to hear it. Right? He says, All right, I'm going to the bank. I'll be back in five minutes. And, what? <laughs> she was like, Did you just sell us? I, I think so, but they always say that. He won't be back. About seven minutes, he come rolling back in. All right, can I take it for a ride? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I wasn't happy. <laughs> He's like, okay, here's your money. Didn't try to talk me down or not. I think I had six hundred on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got you. And I ended up that. I ended up having two hundred dollars in it. Mm-hmm. Because I bought some other stuff and then I had a little bit of time, but you know, that was just tinkering time. But Yeah, we rode it around here. I rode it a lot. I put yeah. what, three hundred miles or something down this street here yeah. and around the neighborhood. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. She'd get on it and ride it around. We never did license it. We should have. Yeah, we were going to. So we could just ride it around, you know, here. I mean, I had title. It was street legal. We would have just had to get a tag for it. Yeah, that was it. Okay, guys. Anyway, enough chit-chat now. Anyway, again, thanks, Brian. appreciate it. Very, very good. But if you add your extra stuff in it, double. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Double's good. But in, anything like that, like um, I made her some ramen one time that, Knocked her socks off, remember that? Mm -hmm. Bought a bunch of ramen and some meat and stuff and made these soups and she was couldn't get over it. It was just like mm -hmm. a dollar then, you know, for... No, maybe they were three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree or something, remember? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was like, yeah, so uh, these ramen soups, they're really sustainable. They last forever and you can actually make a meal out of it. So. Yes, you can. There you go, Mama. Oh, I'm full, honey. I can't eat that. You, it's for you. All right, I'll eat it. It's 10 o'clock. Yes, I'll I wait have to do my, my sugar. My nighttime lunch is midnight, so. Oh, well, you can eat a I eat harder. twice a day, really. <laughs> I'll eat once during, well, supper time, usually. And then, again, at midnight, I call my nighttime lunch. And then uh, I'm good to go again. So, um... Yeah, I'll try to put up a video tomorrow and let you know how my teeth went. So, well, they're 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 going to go. <laughs> they're yeah. going bye bye. My teeth went. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
Anyway, again, thanks a lot. Shea Bird and Myth Man Legend. Gone for now. Monkey, anything you want to say? Or add or plug or anything? Yeah, I'll do my video and put it up hopefully tomorrow night. Yeah, because, I mean, no matter what I'm doing, we're going to have the boat out a couple times. Yeah. I still want to go... I still want to go camping and, and do the thing. We'll have to see how well things go. Yeah, I might not be able to do that. I wanted to, but... Yeah. but We'll see. I mean, we'll know more by the end of the if month. If anything, we'll get we'll get the two <coughs> little tents out. Because you're going to do your ultrasound. If anything, we'll get the two little tents out. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll sleep in the one I slept in the other night, and you can sleep in the trailer bike tent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think so. Why do you always get the good stuff? Because I'm a girl. With that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care. Tell them bye, Mom. Like I said, shout bye, y'all.